and I was diagnosed with HIV in 1989. My first thought was that how could this be me because I was not sick? I did not have a sense of real understanding of how powerful and how serious the virus is. So I didn't seek treatment. I thought I had the flu at first, but it got to the point where I couldn't eat. And so I finally went to the emergency room and one of the nurses just automatically just kind of knew and she sent me to the, the testing in the emergency room and they told me that I had, I was positive for HIV. Being in my addiction, I wasn't worried about care. Well, I wasn't worried about taking the medicines, you know. I was worried about using drugs and doing what I need to do to um, supply my drug habit. Oh, no. I was angry. I was in my addiction. I had this mindset that if I had HIV, I just may well give it to everybody I have. That was then. I think differently now. I guess my feeling was denial. And then I perceived on getting care after that. It was pretty horrific for me, but I had good support. I had the support of the program. I had the support of uh, the HIV counselor and a whole group of people to talk to.